I never have writer's block. I have something much worse. I have writer's drivel. I'll put down any crap until the good stuff comes up. And who am I kidding? I can't write because I got Maggie on my mind. I need to talk to someone. Maybe my sister Karen. She's always encouraging, sympathetic. Loyal, loving. Of course I am. What's wrong, Jake? It's Maggie and me. We're having problems. I swear I had a feeling you were. Is she here? Do you want me to talk to her? Karen, if she were here, how could you talk to her? You're here, here in my head. I hate when that happens. I feel like such a nothing. I wish you would let me be myself. You have such a distorted picture of me. I do? Where did you find this dress I'm wearing? This dress is not me. Bette Midler does a concert in a dress like this. I'm sorry, I didn't have time to go shopping for you today. Where are you going? Should I come in there with you? Don't worry about it, Karen. It happens automatically. Ooh. Something's wrong, Jake. I know you. Tell me, sweetheart. I think Maggie's getting ready to leave me. Don't tell me. Oh, my God, no. All right, don't jump to conclusions. Remember I thought Harry was going to leave me, too? But he did leave you. Because I kept saying you're going to leave me one day. I know it. It drove him crazy. Besides, we had big problems. You and Maggie have had eight good years together. She loves you. That I would bet my life on. She's been seeing another man. I'm such a bad judge of character. Is there something wrong with our family, Jake? Mom got divorced, Pop got divorced, I got divorced, now you're getting divorced? Mom and Pop was one divorce. I'm not divorced yet. Don't turn this into an epidemic, Karen. Have you been seeing anyone? Me? No. You haven't been seeing another woman? Didn't I just say no? Who's the other woman? An actress, about two years ago. It only lasted three weeks. You mean if it's under a month, it's not an affair? You know, every man in America is looking for a calendar like that? I hardly remember it. Truth is, I love Maggie now more than I ever have in my life. You don't want to lose her, Karen. If I lose her, I lose everything. Oh, Jake, you're so dependent on women. I've always known that. When Julie died, I thought you would never get over it. You shouldn't have married Maggie so quickly. The last thing a new bride needs is the ghost of a dead wife. There's Maggie. I hear her on the stairs. With me here? Jake, can't you stop her? She's going to think I picked this dress out myself. Hi, hon. Hi. God, I'm tired. Thought we went to all these. Oh, you smell good. Took a shower. That's what I need. You get so grimy from ambition. She gets to dress so pretty. And I have to wear this trick-or-treat costume. Are you gonna be long? Why? Well, I just thought we'd talk. For dinner? Eat before, during, after. Really? It's been years since we've had a marathon conversation. Sure, I'll shower after. Anything I should feel nervous about? Depends on what makes you nervous. Answers like that. Jake. You're not going to bring up this other man, are you? You're asking for trouble. What do you want me to do? Forget about him? No, just wait. Bring it up on your 50th anniversary. You can go now, Karen. This is private stuff. No, let me stay, Jake. I can wait before you say something stupid. Maggie, don't listen to him. He's a little cranky today. I'll be up all night if you need me, Jake. Look, I'm walking through walls. I'm having a drink, Jake. Anything for you? Jake? I'm sorry, I was just I was thinking about Karen. Yeah, I'll have a vodka. Who is Karen? I mean, she's fine. I haven't seen her for a while. Nobody knew in her life here. Still going to film school? She just made a four-hour student film of her sitting on a kitchen chair called Loneliness. This isn't what you wanted to talk about, is it, Jake? No. Something else, then? Yes. Okay. What? I'm thinking. Looking for a topic? No, I want to get the first sentence right. It's important. It's the, it's the writer in me. It's 
I'm always afraid of losing my audience. I read all 12 of your books, Jake. Trust me. What is your first sentence? You went out of this marriage? Well, you certainly got your audience, didn't you? Where did this come from? I don't know where, Maggie. Tell me. Whoa! I gave you time to think of your first sentence. Give me time to get my second wind. Why does this come up now, Jake? Did something happen today that's never happened before? Yes. What? I decided to ask you. I see. Well, I guess sleeping back to back for the past few weeks doesn't make this too much of a surprise. All right. You want to know if I want out of this marriage? The answer is no. I don't want out of this marriage. Well, I'm glad to hear it. So everything's fine. I didn't say it was. I didn't think it was. No, everything is not fine, Jake. Does that come as a shock to you? No, it's, it's been obvious for months. So why hasn't either one of us talked about it before? We talk about it every day. And the lack of warmth we show each other. The way you sometimes don't even acknowledge me when I walk in the door. On those nights, I'm lucky enough to still be up when you come in. Yes, I have been working more than I used to. Moving up the corporate ladder has its drawbacks. Where are we going with this, Jake? I don't know, Maggie. Are we in trouble or, or are we in big trouble? I love how I get to be the one on the witness stand. I don't know, Jake. We're in trouble, which is more than we've ever been before, so the size of it seems irrelevant. Do you realize I don't even know what you're feeling right now? Are you unhappy? Are you are you angry? Bored with our don't, lives? Jake, no, don't, Jake. Why, why can't you just me? tell me what you feel? Claustrophobic, airless, suffocating. I can't believe I'm saying these things. This is dangerous, Jake. Let's just put it off for a while. Maybe it'll go away in the morning. Go away after claustrophobic? Airless? Suffocating? Those words have a certain permanency. They tend to stick to your ribs. You wanted this conversation, Jake, not me. All right, all right. We're, we're into it now. Let's, let's get on with it. All right. I have a first sentence for you. How about separating for six months? Just to give us some breathing space. Separate for six months? That's... It's kind of a lot of breathing space. That's about as big as Arizona. You actually think if we're apart for six months, we'll be able to get back together again? Why not? Why not? Because half of our problems are based on the fact that we're apart three or four months out of the year to start with. So I don't understand how separating is the answer to being separated so much. I need time, Jake. For what? For myself. I feel lost. I feel out of control. I feel like I'm skiing down a mountain without a pole, and there's nothing but rocks and trees at the bottom. So maybe I could be there to catch you. Catch me? I thought you were the one that pushed me. I didn't mean that. Jake, don't you see how much I've changed? I can't stop running. I'm running for taxis, for elevators, for planes. I'm running for analyst sessions and lunch appointments. I'm jogging 12 miles every week, and it's still not far enough or fast enough. Is it me you're running from? I love you. I love you too, Jake. At least we have that to hang on to. That's worth waiting six months for, isn't it? It's also worth staying here and fighting for. No, I don't want to fight for it. I have tried so hard this year to talk to you, but you never listen to me. Not even to what I'm saying to you now. You want it to be better without even wanting to know what's wrong. I don't know what else to say. Right now, I just want to shower more than anything else in the world. Maggie? Yes? Does Michael Jaffe have anything to do with this?